Roughly 3 million honeybees died over a few days at the San Diego Bee Sanctuary last September. That was about two-thirds of their bee population. You know, all these colonies here, you just see piles of dead bees, pile of dead bees, mm -hmm. pile of dead bees. Dominic Peck and Paul Gunn are co-owners of the company, which rescues and relocates bees throughout the county. I'm here at the San Diego Bee Sanctuary at their Valley Center site with about 1.5 million remaining bees. And while these ones are doing healthy, the ones at their Escondido site didn't have the same fate. The question was why so many bees died. The County Department of Agriculture ran tests and found the bees tested positive for roughly twice the toxic dosage of fipronil, a chemical usually used to control insects like ants and termites. At this point, uh, the source of that fipronil is, is undetermined. Garrett Cooper is the deputy director with the county's Department of Agriculture. He says a bee poisoning this large is rare. Uh, we had surveyed a lot of the pest control businesses that were, you know, provided use reports and were in that area. None of them had used that insecticide. We also looked at the ag operations. James Nye is a bee expert and professor of biological sciences at UC San Diego. He says mass bee die-offs do happen. In fact, Nye says the research apiary at UCSD saw about eight colonies die around the same time. And certain pesticides like fipronil are one reason for these mass deaths. Yes, we have the ability to breed more bees and restore the population, but they're very unhealthy. You know, it's hard for beekeepers to maintain good colonies without a lot of work. Nye says overall bee populations in the state have remained relatively stable, but when bees die, that can affect plant pollination and agricultural yields. As for the San Diego Bee Sanctuary, the new report provides some answers, but they still have more questions. It's kind of nice to know what it was. Um, it's nice to not think that it was a neighboring farm, I guess. While the investigation is closed, Peck says they plan on growing their bee population back over the coming year and expanding to new sites across the county, thanks to the help of financial support from the community. Jacob Ayer, KPBS News.